Hello and welcome to my channel. So this one is going to be a short one, but I think it's a pretty cool one. Um, I created, I don't know how to say, a shadow play. Yeah. Um, so I imported this model. Um, I downloaded it from, um, I don't know, TurboSquid, I think. It's a free model. And yeah, and I also rigged it. Um, but um, that that's not the topic. Um, what I did then is I created a sphere back here and this sphere has a emissive material on it. If I just open the node editor, you can see it. It's very, very simple. Um, just created a black body emission and uh, cranked up the power pretty high. Um, also the temperature made, made it a little bit more warm. And then I created a plane back here so that the sphere shines it shines onto this alien model and also ref gets the, the light also gets reflected from this plane this plane has also material on it let's see it's also very basic where is the editor here um, it's actually I think it's a diffuse material yes it's a diffuse um, with some some gray value on the diffuse channel and uh, yeah nothing special and then what i did then is i created uh, a plane here and i added a different material on it um, i downloaded this one from i think polygon it's basically a a paper material paper crumbled i uh, put that one i think it's a yeah it's a universal material um I put this one into the albedo and the reflection into the specular and the gloss inverted the gloss uh, into the roughness and uh, there's also normal and also displacement. I played around with the displacement a little bit and uh, what I did also I think I did add I added a little bit of transmission here so you can see and uh, I think I also no, I didn't turn on fake shadows. Okay, so um, what we are getting now, if I just uh, switch to the Octane camera here, and let me just fire up um, the live viewer. Where is it? It's this. Um, this is very cool, actually. Um, let me just um, get out of the camera. And this is how it looks, you see. Um, so the, the sphere projects the light. And why did I put a a, um, a plane here? I mean, I could, I could just um, disable the plane. We would get a pretty much similar result. But if I uh, enable it, first of all, it gets a little bit more bright around the edges and stuff like that and then if we take a look um, you see these uh, these little gradients here um, we don't get them without the plane so that everything is very sharp and uh, this is also very realistic let me just um, see if I can find a reference uh, image so maybe like this one, you can see those um, little gradients here and there. And uh, also, let's check this one out. Yeah, see that? And if we take a look at our reference, we're not that far off. And the cool thing also is that um, the closer it gets the model, the closer the model gets to the um, to the shadow play plane, um, it gets darker and, and more sharp stuff like that just uh, we just see uh, if I just go ahead and and the funny thing is it behaves uh, physically correct I think because if I just um, push it back you see back from uh, away from from the from the plane it gets bigger and, and bigger and it gets even more blurry see that Put it here, right? And you can see the arm almost touches touches the um, the plane. Just 
put it even more. See this? Yeah, very nice. And um, you could do um, the same thing basically with a redshift as well. I, I did that, but I, I think I didn't put a plane in the back. So let's see if this one. Yeah, this is. In principle, the, the same way. So um, I hope you liked this uh, short tutorial. I think uh, you can do some really cool stuff with it. Um, have a nice day and uh, see you soon. Bye.